Hello, welcome back to Who Eats What? Food Chains and Food Webs. So we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Yesterday, you had the opportunity to, to draw out one of your meals and the food chains that were involved in that. So let's continue. There are many, many food chains, more than anyone can count, but in one way, they are all alike. All food chains begin with green plants. Green plants are the only living thing that can make their food. They are the only living thing that do not need to eat something else. Green plants take energy from sunlight. They use it to make food out of water and air. All animals depend on green plants for food, even animals that don't eat plants. Hawks, for example, do not eat green plants, but the hawk ate the wren who ate the caterpillar that ate the leaf of a green plant. And so the hawk is linked to the green plant through the food chain. It needs the plants as much as the caterpillar does. Because let's think about it. If we take those leaves away, will there be any more caterpillars? Nope. And if we take caterpillars away, will there be any more wrens? Nope. And if we take wrens away, will there be any more hawks? No, because they won't have anything to eat. So, hmm, the hawk needs these green plants just as much as that caterpillar does. So interesting. Take a walk and look around. You will see parts of many food chains. Look at the leaves and the flowers and the plants. Look at the bark of trees. Look at fruits, nuts, and seeds that have fallen to the ground. What animals are eating them. So let's study this picture for a minute. So in this picture, on the tree, there is a woodpecker, right? And he's going inside the bark of the tree to get bugs out. Mm -hmm. So he's dependent upon the bugs that live inside the bark of the tree. And then down here, we have the acorns and other seeds. Like right here from these plants, we have mice eating those little seeds. We have squirrels eating the acorns. We have deer eating just the regular grass that are around. It says you might see a grasshopper eating a blade of grass. You may not see another animal eat the grasshopper, but you can find out which animals eat grasshoppers by going to the library. Ooh, doing that research like we talked about last Thursday on Zoom. You can read up on grasshoppers and any other animal you've seen. You can draw food chains. So, hmm, if you see this, you could say the grass is linked to the grasshopper that's eating it, and the grasshopper is linked to, and do some research and find out what eats the grasshopper. Very interesting. For our assignment today, we're actually going to turn back a page. We're going to go back to this page. And I'm going to tell you what your assignment is going to be before I read this page again. So here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you that your assignment is going to be to write and draw to me how all food chains are the same. Hmm. How are all food chains the same? Huh. So, let's read this page again. There are many, many food chains, more than anyone can count, but in one way, they are all alike. All food chains begin with green plants. Green plants are the only living things that can make their own food. They are the only living things that do not need to eat something else. Hmm. So I want you to write for me today, draw a picture and write for me, how are all food chains the same and why? Hmm. Why? Hmm. If you're not quite sure, go back and listen to that last part I just read to you again. Rewind the video, go back and listen to it again. Okay? Good work, friends.